missed Tuesday's show. Here's the RE cap presented by Honda. Let's get into the NFL 100 commercial. We saw Breeze and Kamara sit next to each That's other. That's right. You had to go to them to get that That's shot. Right. We shot that after Breeze oh had lost to the Rams right before the Super Bowl and we're not in good moods. These guys were going hard. Like LaDainian Thomason went real hard. I thought I knocked him unconscious at one point. Fitzgerald sat right by me for hours and he wanted to understand how you know, how we do what we do. And we were trying to get the throw right for Odell, and our guy couldn't do it. And Larry's like, I got this. He just walked in, looked at Odell, told Odell what the pattern, and hit it one take perfectly. And Odell <laughs> fully extended. And Larry just came back and sat sat down with me. So wait a minute, hold on a yeah. second. Montana's in the room. Yeah. Yeah. All those quarterbacks in the room, Bradshaw's yeah. in the room, yeah, yeah, yeah. the part where Odell one hands yeah, it, that that's was, a ball thrown by Larry Fitzgerald? Larry Fitzgerald threw it. One take. <laughs> one take. AB now wants to be MRBC, Mr. Big Chest. Don't even call me AB. Just call me Big Chest. Yeah, Mr. Big Chest. How can he be Mr. Big Chest when I'm Mr. Big Chest? And if you are calling yourself Mr. Big Chest, you are ripping me and my big chest off. I'm DJ Mr. Big Chest. You are not! What do you make of everything going on with, hold on a minute, let me get this right, I have it written down, Mr. Big Chest. I don't know who's doing the worst job of selling themselves to teams right now, AB or AD, Anthony Davis. For me, to kind of see that Antonio is trying to force the hand of the Pittsburgh Steelers, he's now speaking about Ben, he's speaking about Mike Tomlin, just doing some things that I don't necessarily think help his trade value. Would you take him on your team? If In the right situation, I would. With the right head coach, with somebody who understands fully what you're getting. When you're speaking about your quarterback, what are your plans on offense? How will you coach him? How will he be treated? And I think the hard part about that is what team wants to go through all that that thinks Antonio Brown is worth it. Did you shoot Fighting With My Family before or after the last season of Game of Thrones? Before. So this is in between You're seasons. not going to get anything out of me. I want to be surprised. Okay. When you first got the first ever Game of Thrones script. Yes. What did you think? No one will ever watch this. And then it came out and it was just... People loved it. Did you know that your character was going to survive season one? Yeah, yeah. I knew up until the walk of shame. What about the final season? When you got the script, what did you do with that? Same thing. I think all of us were like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm still in. Okay, so which one was happiest by the end? I can't tell you that. Mm -hmm. That was a sneaky way like of doing that. That, that, was, that was nice. That, that was, was so good? smooth. That was creative. Who are you most concerned from the cast that is actually going to give something away? Kit. You can just butter him up with a bit of booze. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh. I'm going to book him again in Get our Get him sozzled and I'll tell you everything. <laughs> For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.